I'm a photographer, so I, I was already doing this before. This isn't even really a contest. It's more like a, this is what you need to learn and this is kind of the Bible of photo editing. You should be using Adobe Lightroom and you should be shooting your photos in the raw format. If you shoot JPEGs, you are limiting your drone to what the camera processor, the tiny one that's built in, or the iPhone processor can do, but you're not at all using the maximum potential of the data in that photo. So JPEG takes all that data and stamps it into something that's easy to send around and view right away. But it, you know, it's a tiny processor, so it's gonna struggle with all that data and it doesn't know what you wanna do particularly with it. When you shoot raw, you're just shooting open raw information and then you take it into Adobe Lightroom and you adjust the highlights and the blacks and the shadows and the color with little knobs. It makes it so simple, but you make these manual adjustments. You can add things like a vignette or you can change the color of just the sky. If it's too green in the grass, you can bring that down independently. You have so much more control and it's really, really easy to use. It's very addictive, but it sets your photos miles seriously apart from like 90% of people taking photos with drones out there instantly. It's like $10 a month. I think they give you a uh, one week trial if you wanna try it out. But once you do, you're not gonna go back, I'm telling you. You can recover so much data if you shoot it too dark. There's data there that you wouldn't normally see, but when you bring it up out of the file, it's like magic, it just comes to life. The same thing with parts that are overexposed. If it's too bright and you realize you're, you made a mistake, you're not stuck, you can adjust it a lot. Most of these photos will bend very far. So it's good for if you made a mistake shooting something, and it's also great for editing in really artsy ways. And that is how I get all of my photos to look super, super good. Just taking the time to like brush over certain areas like rocks and making them more vivid or more colorful. I have other videos on all of that stuff, but the point is that's the gist of it. You absolutely should, without any debate, be using Adobe Lightroom.